What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 course showcase video. And today we're diving to the brand new course, Kingbreaker Major, designed by Map Collector. And this is another golf course in the TGC Tours Major Design Contest, where designers are creating courses that could host a major championship. And wow, the courses we played in this contest so far have been awesome, and they've also been extremely difficult. And here's another one to add to the list. Map Collector knocked this golf course out of the park. It is beautiful, it is tough, and it is fun to play. So as always, get on out there in game, play this course, and let me know how you shoot in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. So for today's round, we will be playing from the tips. So the tips are 8,120 yards away. A pin location number one and gonna be playing medium wind speeds, all the rest default conditions here for this first round of golf. Let's go ahead and dive on in. If y'all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and big thank you to Map Collector for creating this great golf course. And to all of you all designers out there, you all are all legends. Greatly appreciate your all's hard work you put in to bring these great courses to life. If you all are out there looking for more course showcase videos from me, check out the full playlist I have linked in the description. But here we go. So this golf course is a very realistic golf course. To me, it does embody that major championship difficulty, especially when you put the narrow fairways that you all are about to see here. So let's go ahead and start this flyover. This course, it's going to be my nemesis because it has everything that I struggle with. And fairways, small a lot of heavy rough and no light rough uh, so you all know what i mean when you see this and just wait till you see these greens but yeah a very realistic looking golf golf course here you have the grandstands here on the on the front i will say there's not a lot of fans throughout the course uh, i've i've played throughout all the major design contests uh, some of the courses have had a lot of fans some of them have had minimal fans i think it depends on what the designer was going for for that specific environment but let me tell you all this golf hole right here is mean as can be so be ready for that one that is a dangerous dangerous shot on this pin location uh, from personal experience i can say be careful out there but love what map did with this environment <laughs> It is just just going through this flyover and just thinking about how tough these fairways are to hit and how tough the greens are. Just It gets me in a different kind of mental focus here for this round. I want to be fully mentally focused to not shoot 15 over par. I wanted to show the castle ruins here in the background. I thought this was cool that map added here. Kind of makes it unique there. I don't know what that's inspired by specifically for this golf course i'm sure map has a reason to put to put that here in this major contest course but one thing i do want to show as well we'll go back to the the clubhouse or where is i'm trying to think of where the gamer ability squirrel easter egg is on this golf course i saw it whenever i previously flew over this course and looked for it where is it it, it might be over here i'll find it so here we go, found the Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg, map always delivers. We have the squirrels late waiting in line here for the pint-sized poet in. <laughs> then you have the clubhouse here, and then we also have the neighborhood here in the background. Be a nice neighborhood to live in. Maybe you go to the, go to the lake there, go fishing, go play some golf, even though real life, I'm not quite sure this would, I would want this as my home golf course, because that would be extremely challenging, but here we go. 551 yard par four to start the day. Map did not joke around here on hole number one. And Looks what like better way for you in this next one. to start a map collector course than to send it right in the sand. Very fitting. And second shot here on the first. So I say that because one of my biggest nemesis in PGA 2K21 was a course <laughs> called Wedgwood Park by Map Collector. That golf course 
will forever be remembered as the course that broke Ryan Gamer. I there's something about that course. I can never shoot under par on it. That course crushed me, and then I finally got revenged when Matt brought it to PGA 2K23, and I played really well on it. But that course, I don't know, something about it just got me. So every time I saw Matt, whether it was a live stream, I always mentioned that golf course, and I. And here I go again, mentioning it again. Map dot, I forgot well about it. You. Got a good amount of club but in the bunker there. I These say that shots looking like. because this could be the new Wedgwood Drive Park, or whatever the name of that golf course was that crushed me. We got to put this one close here on this part four. I'm going to overpower this pitch shot. And Matt, that, that golf course wasn't hard for a lot of people. Something about it with All me. Right, I don't know what it was. Shot? Some courses just have that effect on you, right? Let's chip this in. I pushed that by a mile. Well judged on that one. This one's for bogey. What better way than to start a major championship course by Map Collector with the bogey? And off to a bit of a slow you all weren't expecting anything less. Car, but don't worry. Those been... of you all that have watched my content for a long time, especially watched me play a map Looks collector like a course, you all knew. This one. Look at this fairway. Origin 50 yards, uphill 15. This is a major championship golf course. I do wish that it had more fans along the course, but other than that, love the environment. Can send it but there's been a couple of them we played in the major design contest that didn't have a lot of fans there has to be a reason for that there we go great contact come on get a good bounce sent it we hate to see it but map collector added the gamer ability squirrel easter egg so like all right, setting up here deep. Makes up spinach. for not having fans everywhere. So thank you for that map. 107 yards, uphill 22 feet. Look at this green. We have a backboard and it's 71, 85% lie. I like the gap wedge here. Gonna come off to the left off that side hill. My fairway percentage on this course is probably gonna be 20%. Wait, that we're 0 for 2 so far, right? All right, back in the fairway. Now let's just drop a dart onto that green. This is such a tough golf course. Like, this is a major championship course. A little bit overpowered. Still a good chip. Yeah, if you sink this, you could save par. So far, so good. Hey, we'll take a par. Stroke in the hole for a par. Pars kind of feel like birdies on these major design contest courses. These have been so tough. There's one that we played really good okay, on. That was Rhett Teach's course. We played great on that one. Thank you for that, yeah, Rhett. Heads up this hole. We got a tailwind blowing with the ball. Very nice par three. And look at this green. I like the way this is sculpted, though, where you can funnel it either up this hill and then left to right towards the hole. Now, if you miss, you're going to go off here, but at least there's a little bit of fairway there. I'm going to save my shot dedications for a little bit later, so I'm not going to dedicate this one, even though it's still going to be an ace. I'm going to put it up this left side, overpower, full send. Tempo is not great. I was going for a more overpowered shot there, but not bad. It's going to be a tough putt. Uh, so when you all play this golf hole, don't do that. Because if you do, you're going to be left with this putt. This putt for the birdie. <laughs> okay, so it's it's left to right, or right to left, left to right. It's going to be a great highlight, real highlight, if we make this. 53 feet, uphill 2 feet. I think we've got to hit it in the fringe to even make this. Maybe not, actually. Imagine. One time, everybody. You know what to do. Ooh, that thing broke hard left to right. Good speed. We'll take Setting it. Setting up here with a four-foot putt. 
That wasn't bad at all. That's going to be a par. Well, let's not speak too soon. Looking good. There we go. And after that one, you are sitting at one over par. Yeah, th this course does fit that major championship difficulty, right? Like, you have to really think about your shots. Up on the fourth hole now. Especially off the tee and even in, uh, into the green, of course. But then we have a 618-yard par 5 along the castle here. Wow. This reminds me of Wedgwood. Oh, the course that must not be named, Wedgwood. <laughs> I forgot. That'll work. Okay, second shot here oh on the fourth. Oh my goodness, and look at this. You can't, even if you could go for this in the right wind, you probably shouldn't. If you go down there, well, good luck. I'm gonna lay up into this region. Map was not messing around on this golf course. You all like that swing plane? That's like two in a row where it's like diagonal and then up left. And it goes straight. Maybe that's my new swing plane. Who needs to swing straight when you can just kind of this one diagonal it and still get a straight shot? <laughs> Let's not do that. 92 yards left. We're only sitting one over par, which I say only. I mean, honestly, I was expected to be two or three over. You know, when I when I did the first flyover and play play this course to get ready for the showcase, I would not say what I was through the first six holes. And let's just make the shot. Downhill lies steady. Right to left side hill lies well. It's gonna come off to the left. That diagonal spot. Ooh, oh. we're heading for the green here. Not bad. Safely on the green. Get Ryan. Get down. To Wave it to the fans. After this putt, if you want. Keeping it. He's he's keeping it calm. He's not too fired up right now. But considering he is one over par, he shouldn't be too fired up. Thirteen footer uphill two inches. We got a steady right to left putt. Very makeable. For the first birdie of the round here. One Get in the there! Come on! First birdie! Feels good! 618 yard par 5 conquered at that Kingbreaker. Down to even power. That'll get you ready. Uh, and then look at this right gift. Breeze on this hole. Look at this gift. You have a 618 yard par 5 and then map says, you know what? Come back. Come back. Don't be mad at me. Enjoy this 548-yard par 5 with narrow fairways and tree in the way. <laughs> but you know what? I see a dedicated albatross coming in. Here we go. What a fantastic nice. golf uh, course, though. Solid contact. Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Look out. Golf course could use some work. Who All put right. this rough this there? A, this is a bad <laughs> lie. I'm just going to say it. We're John's deep, just deep laughing. John literally couldn't even describe that lie and just laughs. <laughs> oh, I love this game. There, you know, there is something special about playing a new course, is having fun, spending this time with you all, right? It's just so much fun. <laughs> John just even, doesn't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> He's just over here laughing about missed fairways at this point. Okay, Matt, nice did you do that? Rough there. Now, let us set our sights on the green. Matt must have changed okay, John's voice lines. Yards of course. Pin. Look at this green, though. Welcome. King Breaker. It's in this. The loft and backspin partial shot. And back into hitting more partials with the new controller. I was hitting a lot more loft to correct it, but that's because the controller is so sensitive and a good one. it's really hard to hit right, partial shots. Here you've got 22 feet to go. 22 feet, downhill three inches. We've got a steady left to right break. 
This thing's kicking hard left. Wow. Oh my, look at that break and speed. Wow. We had to put that up on the fringe probably to make it. One. 10 feet to the cup. Okay. King Breaker is the name of the course. You expect heavy breaking putts. Putt appears to be yes. online. Good work. That is a tough stretch of golf. It may be a short par five, but you have a tiny green with a lot of slope. Stay where you are at even par. And then you, so the wind is blowing right to left on this hole. Oh, this is a tough stretch of golf. You have a 618 yard par five. A 500 and whatever it was, par 5, but very tough. And then you have a long par 4 with a rough stretch throughout this fairway. Oh my, let's go right. Please get a good bounce. How is map sculpting here? Is it Ryan Gamer friendly? Not. It is. A hey, cheers, map. That bounce. That was a good one. This is about 185 yards or Thanks so. Thanks for giving win. Ryan Gamer a membership. The king breaker here. 83 yards, uphill 12 feet. Loft and backspin, send. That's a great swing. <laughs> Minus the beginning. Nobody saw the beginning, though. Focus on the end of the swing. There to the, on the shot feedback. Don't look at the beginning. Approach shot worked out just fine. All right, let's sink this for birdie and peace out. What do you say? 22 feet, downhill three inches, steady right to left. Looking really good. Get in. Ooh, it's going. Yeah, that thing just kept going. So much break on these greens. A little too much pace oh. on that one. Five feet to go. This is harder there than is. Wedgwood Drive Park. It's not even close. And we're playing it even so far, so that's huge. Where did I shoot at Wedgwood Drive Park first high. round? Ten over. <laughs> See what happens here. We got a long par four for this one. I remember a few comments like, you know, I say, let me know how you all shot on the course. See if you beat my score. <laughs> There's a couple 10 unders, and there's me. Like, oh, Ryan, this course is not that tough. Yeah, I know. Another long par four. There I go, mentioning that golf course again. I'm sorry, Map. I can't get it out of my memory. I, I, last time in a live stream, I think I told Map I'm not going to talk about that course again. Or maybe in the last course showcase video for a Map Collector course. Nicely done. And we're about, a, I don't know, 200 yards or so from the pin from here. Oh, my. Okay, 199 yards, uphill 8 feet. <laughs> well, you know, the good news is we put it up here to the left side. We're likely going to be off the green, and we can put it in with the Texas wedge or maybe chip it in. The map did not mess around with this golf course. Let's attack it, though. It's not as hard as Stillwater by B101, the course that rushed me. Look at this. Look at this. Is it going to stop? Sculpting stamp of approval. And Thank you for that, Matt. And regulation. Here we Wait. go. This drops and you got a bird. Or another birdie. We're on the part of the green that you want to be on. Very makeable putt. Looking pretty good. Yes. Beautiful shot. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. That's one under par, everybody. One under after that one. Oh, this one. Okay, let's see what we can do here on the <laughs> oh. eighth hole. So this reminds me of a golf hole at Stillwater by B101, the major design contest course, because that golf course had a golf hole with everything funneling into the water, and this is another one of those. That map collector decided to to, <laughs> to add to its course as well. This course is dangerous. I mean, this course is dangerous, but this golf hole is dangerous as can be. 
I'm gonna go for it. Why not? You could lay up to the right fairway, but to be honest, both of them are tough. It should bounce into the fairway. Yes! Come on! Hold. Here's our second shot Beautiful. on the eighth. 60 yards. Look at this green. Downhill seven feet. All right. Slight partial. There's the partial. A little bit of a pull on that. Great tempo, though. Keep rolling, because if not, this putt's going to be insane. Look at this. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. A plus sculpting by the designer on that one. Okay, tap Look at this, this green. One in and let's move on. <laughs> this green is going to get some people upset. We're left with the two-footer. And look at the break. But hey, that put Breaker in the name. It's called King Breaker. So. That one drops. That's another That's birdie. Second birdie in a row. The makings of a streak, perhaps. If we get six under on this golf course. Two under after that one. Ryan Gamer may retire at the top. Going on this one, right to left. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? If you all are waiting for a aceable part three, well, don't look at this golf course for that. 194 yards, uphill 10 feet. And I'm feeling an ace on this one. Up here on the slope, right into the hole. Map, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, this one's for you. In the approach, heading to the left. They were dancing. <laughs> so, Good job. that one's for we're you, on Matt. Green. And this putt is very, very long. Just uh, do what you can. See if we can get this close, maybe. John doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> Way to instill confidence in your in your golfer, John. I mean, John just says, like, basically just says, well, uh, all right. Do what you can. <laughs> 33 feet. Downhill one foot, steady left to right, and then back the other way at the end for a dedicated birdie opportunity. And if we miss this, this putt's probably going off the front of the green. Oh no, it's right by the way. I mean, we hit that soft and it went. Here's a seven foot putt. Would be cool to see the, uh, see the, like the top players in the world on TGC tours, the platinum tour players playing, playing the course, like this course with these breaks on it. It's this tough. Good so far. Not that one's for you, you Matt. Par. Two good points stuff. in Staberford format. Dedicated par. Two under on the front. Never would have expected a two under here on the front nine. And currently sitting at two under par. This one's a par four. Another long par four here to start the back nine. Beautiful. So you see, we started. Did you see the left tees there? That's pin. That's a number hole number one, and the left fairway, and then it's a shared fairway here. But I like this screenshot from here because you see a lot of the, a lot of the course here. You see the first hole and the tenth hole. Imagine fans all the way up this left side, all the way up this right side. It may break the game, but imagine, imagine how cool that would be. Look at that swing plane. It didn't matter because I slowed it, but that's in the sand. Just kidding. I forgot we're a course member. Members bounce. Let's go. That'll do nicely. Setting up here, looking at an okay, elevated Okay, so don't green. miss left. <laughs> don't miss left. 178, uphill 22 feet. Got to make sure we put this thing to the right side. It's going to come off well to the left off the lie angle there. I am not missing that. And we're going left. right of the pin. 
but we will miss it in the rough well, to the right. Next time. Okay, here's our third shot. That's honestly not a bad place to play from. We can put this up to the right, let it roll down. I was not expecting that to stop that well. Right, here wow. is a look at our par putt. Ryan, did you put Velcro on that golf ball? 13 feet uphill, 2 inches. Steady right to left. Gotta make this the save par. This one's on a good line. Oh. How oh, these greens are tough. And a four foot putt. It's gonna be another bogey if we make it. This putt's tracking. We'll take it. One under. And there we go. That's a bogey. My goal was even or better, and well, we'll take one under any day of the week. That's gonna put you up to one under par. Another 524 par yard par four and a split fairway with that's so mean. <laughs> that's just mean right there. Wow. All right. But you know what? Watch this. I'm not afraid of you, map. I'm not afraid of you, map. I put my whole body into that one. Oh. Not afraid of you, map. I should be. That's not gonna work, is it? Well, looking at an elevated green on the just approach trying here. Trying to just send it a 110 full blast, perfect dead straight swing plane. I don't know why I was expecting that, but look at this: 192 yards left. The back of the green is sloped to where you're gonna miss and probably go in the rough. Let's go hybrid. I don't even think hybrid gets there. Oh. And one way to find out. Get up, get up. Hey, it gets there. And be ready for a highlight reel golf shot here. You could go to two under with this putt right here. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas? 88 feet, uphill three feet. It's not breaking very much, believe it or not. It's left to right and then right to left at one point and then back left to right. But the speed of this putt is going to be very interesting. Imagine if we make this one time, everybody. Drop your one times. Drop them in a comment. Say it out loud. We need a miracle on this one. Great swing plan. Tried to do that, definitely. Yeah, go in! <laughs> Here we go. Four par. Might be the putt of our career. Wow, imagine if that drops without the pull. Well, the pull helped us. If it was a little bit less of a pull, it's probably in the hole. Wow. I never expected that. What a putt. Okay, now let's take a peek Wouldn't at it. Wouldn't that still go part. on the highlight reel? All right, I think that would. At one under after that one. I mean, yeah, we missed it, but it's still a highlight real putt. And teeing it up now on the twelfth. Look at this fairway, hard sloped right to left. Five hundred eighty yard part five. Good swing play. We just can't put okay, it all together. The fairway. Could, Tempo and swing play. Great bounce. Another member's bounce. I don't think we can get this there in two, though. All right. Second shot on the 12th. 267. Uphill 26 feet. I'm sending this. I think it gets up and over the trees. All right, map. This one's for you, buddy. Dedicated Albie. The first dedicated Albie. Get up, get up, get up. Of course, we find that bunker. That bunker is probably put there for Ryan Gamer. Better than just being rough there, so I'll take it. And from the green side, Sand. Looking for an up and down here. Ryan looks so upset there. Do you see that look on his face? Like, what just happened? 
Ryan looks defeated out there, but here we go. A splash in eagle. Dedication chance. Underswung. Okay. Two under. If you can sink this. I underswung. I slowed it and pulled it by a mile. That was not a good swing combination. We have a dedicated birdie chance to get to five points dedicated to the designer on this 16 footer. Steady right to left putt. This one's for you, Matt. It's getting there. Ooh, just, just. I mean, missed. when you all play this course. If you Here think it's breaking and you have your read, add a couple inches to that read on every putt. Because every putt seems like it's breaking more than I'm predicting. That par is for you, Matt. Going. Nice putt in there for par. Better than my dedications at Wedgwood Drive Park, so we have improved. Okay, one under par on your round. Good luck here on this par three. I mean, do we? Do we use up our dedications here on this lovely par three? 149 yards downhill, 25. We have to. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's save it. This one's heading a little bounce bit to right. the left. Members bounce. It's not what I had in mind. Well, this is like going to be impossible. On that approach. <laughs> All right. Here's our second shot on the 13th. I am so glad I took back that, like, I did not dedicate. Oh, my. What in the world are we supposed to do? It's got to be the flop shot. At least map gave us fairway down here. That was nice. Thank you for that map. You know, Ryan Gamer wants to map if you're out there in the clubhouse on this course. Ryan Gamer wants to have a conversation about this golf hole and maybe modifications oh, for the future. Shot. Oh my. I'm just so glad I didn't dedicate it. I don't even know what to do here. How do you get the ball to stop? Last major contest course, didn't we find a green and do the same thing on it? That was I wasn't that was that a major was that Eisenberg's course? I believe so. You know, we can find those spots, but what I'm not gonna do is keep hitting the same shot over and over. I'm gonna change it up. Unlike what I did at Eisenberg's latest golf course. Where I hit the same shot five times in a row, expecting a different result. And that stops? Yeah, that'll work. And here we go for the double bogey. <laughs> I'm just so glad this wasn't dedicated. Well, honestly, despite getting a double bogey, it feels like a kind of a celebration that I held off on the shot dedication. So, like, I know you're like, why are you smiling, Ryan? Well, <laughs> good point. Well, it's heading towards the hole. All right, well done. Oh, this back nine's kind of tough. Uh, moving on, we got plenty of birdie opportunities left. Okay, one over on the round currently. <laughs> we have the we most narrow fairway you, you will this see. One. This is a major championship course if I've ever seen one. 529 yards, downhill 36 feet. That swing is just all over the place. All right, from the fairway bunker. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> and this is a par four. I, I, we can't even get there, but you know what? Why not just see how far this three wood can go? Look at that. Come on, and then roll back. 
Go into the hole, ball. Go into the hole, please. Please? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on! Nicely played out of that bunker. Beautiful design the by the legend map collector. So thank you for that map. Uh, the fairway could have been a bit wider, I might add. <laughs> but, wow, what a golf shot. And you better make this right. So far, so good. Yes! Boom, and that's your fourth birdie of the wow, day. Wow, I love this video game. The fight, the battle on major championship courses. That's what it's all about. Having fun together, having some and good laughs, one, even par. and getting cool. back to even. It's blowing out there. We got a headwind on this hole. Back to even. Doc makes an appearance there. The legendary caddy. 567 yard par 5. If we had the right wind, this would be perfect. Love the castle ruins here. Send it. Please find a fairway. Come on. Please, ball. Come on. Come on, map. Come on, map. Well, that won't do, will it? Second shot here <laughs> on the 15. God just says that won't do, will it? Hey, just three wood it out of that heavy rough. Anybody ever even thought about hitting a three wood out of the heavy rough? I feel like I'd be too afraid I would break my club. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't be able to hit it good. Well done. So Back I might as well pull out fairway. any other club. But if I was going to hit the three wood, I am about 90% sure I would it would break my three wood if I hit that shot. I'm going to go normal. Bob wedge partial. Stick this thing. Well, Look it's at heading that. in the right direction. Got the perfect power on that partial. What a shot. Oh, that'll do. This that'll do. Is for birdie. Seven feet uphill one inch. Gotta make this right. To get to one under. No, that's going right by the hole, isn't it? I believe this is for your par. We both hit, we both, me and Virtual Ryan, we're both just devastated after that. Just a blank stare, right? What a mean game that golf can be sometimes, you know? All right, staying right at even par. Take the even. Wind's blowing right in our face on this one. Okay, we got this. Let's just find the fairway. We do have the left side or right side. Let's go right. Honestly, I'd just be happy with finding any fairway at this point. I'm not picky. Look at that. We split it in half. And from here, Ryan it's Gamer, the fairway finder. Yards to the pin. Ooh, I remember hitting a rock like this on Wedgwood. Rocks have returned. 116 yards left. Uphill 11 feet. This is our wheelhouse. I mean, let's put this right off that backboard into the hole. Partial gap wedge. That's the swing. Perfect tempo. Swing plane is okay. Onto the backboard. Go in. Yep, that's gonna Just work. Just another day at the office for Ryan Gamer. What can he say? Just a little three-footer left for this Just one. Don't look at the scorecard. That is another birdie. Fifth Come birdie. on. Fifth birdie today. Feels like I'm Let's losing a, my voice. Just randomly and cuts out one, at times. Going huh. down to one under. Here we go on the map collector hole. has that effect. <laughs> His courses can get you. They can get you to raise the voice a bit. Start to lose your voice, and then you're met with a 276 yard par three. You know, Map is a great designer. You know, I always I joke around, but Map, this course is incredible. Thank you for the hard work. Like, this is phenomenal stuff. This is a major contest course. Like, it, it is. 
And we're one under on this. This long part three is going to be tough. We still have a shot dedication left. We have to do a partial driver. I don't think we use the shot dedication here. But let's check the scorecard to see what the final hole is. Part four. Okay, let's use our dedication right now. All right, map. A partial driver ace on a 276-yard par three dedicated. Imagine. One time, everybody. This one's for you, map. I want to take the screenshot before we... I kind of wish that fence wasn't there. Kind of gets in the way of the screenshot, but I do like it in general. Maybe there? Yeah, but we'll just send it. All right. This one's for you, Matt. It's not terrible. Come on, don't you stop. It's a driver. All right, here we go for the birdie. That one's for you, map. And so is this downhill one foot impossible putt. I mean, this thing's breaking hard right to left. It's going downhill the whole way into a red slope right next to the hole. Do not do as I did on this, on this golf hole. <laughs> this one's for you, map. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all, but it might go off the green. Ooh, it's gonna hold, maybe? A little too hard. Okay, third shot. We could dedicate this birdie Texas wedge here for Jerry, the caddy, EA PGA Tour. The legend. This one's for you, for you, Matt. I almost dedicated it to Jerry. This one's for you, Matt. Not Jerry. Oh, no. And this one's for bogey. <laughs> so, that ball, that, was, that just teased us. That ball was, like, it was, yeah, I hit a little hard on the outside, but then it kind of looked like it was going to come in. And it just zooms out. Like, oh, this is shot dedication, I'm out. This bogey's for you, Matt. A beautiful thing of the reason we use Staber Ford format for shot dedications. That that's still a point. Staber Ford format to get to six points on the showcase. Wait, five points on the two pars and all right, bogey. we've done that one. Now let's take a look at the scorecard. That'll push you up to even par after that one. You hate to see it, but all the right, beautiful thing is we're still we even do par. Off the T here. It's a long par four. Oh, this one. Oh, so you talk about a tough finishing par four. Look at this. There's water in play, narrow fairway, beautiful design though for a finishing golf hole. Remember I said that after I hit it in the water, but love this finishing hole. And I think we go right. What do you all predict the fairway percentages this round? It has to be low. I was hoping for a better well, bounce. Three group. It Under has to be low. Second shot here on number 18. Like even below Ryan Gamer's average of 50%. I think we're lower. This doesn't get there. 68% of 250. Alright. It's almost an impossible layup, too. Wow. Oop, that one, uh, yeah. That's in the what water. did I say? Did I say something like a great finishing part four? <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! Well, well, well. This is going to end what would have been an even par round. Setting up here for your fourth. That ball just died. Are, are we just going to have to chip it? That's when you know Ryan Gamer has no clue what to do. Pulls out a seven iron, just chips it into Good the fairway. There, back in the fairway. That's probably what I should have done okay, in the first this place. Is about 160 or so. What have you hit. done, Map? You done, Map? What a tough golf course. Overpowered. Yeah, I was going for a partial and just sent it. Well, uh, you know, I'm degrees. still getting back into this okay. game. It's my third Sixth round back shot. into this game at this point. After many, many weeks off. So, now we're... F and I was not... <laughs> I was just learning my new swing, right? And it's like we forgot everything. What better course to, to gain confidence than another major design contest course? <laughs> All you could do is laugh at this point, right? Wow, okay. I break even for me, everybody. You know, TGC Tours Master Difficulty. Get on out there. Ryan's about to chuck his his lob wedge and into the water. You can drop he he held back. He was about to throw that club and never look back. Please break even for me. We have a course. That is now Ryan Gamer's new nemesis, Stillwater Point and Kingbreaker. So thank you for that, Matt. Oh my goodness. Come back, come back. <laughs> yeah, this one's seven feet wow, away. this course is tough. So just a casual, nothing like a quad bogey to finish your round, moving with confidence into the next round. <laughs> oh no. Looking good. And I got lost in that. Your round's over already. I thought we just started. Well, uh, that happened. On to the next one. Four, even to four over and one golf hole. Hey, what a golf course, though. That was so much fun. Tough finish, but overall, we played really good on a very challenging golf course. 50% fairways. You know, that's our average. So, nice to hit the average. 50%. That is an insanely difficult golf course. 72 gurs, 1.56 putts per hole. A 76 on the scorecard when we were even going into the 18th. Easy favorite. Easy five star. That is my nemesis though. That I don't want to look at the round stats. I did not mean to click on that. I am not looking at the round stats. We, we'll look at fairway and gers. I don't want to see anything else for that round of golf. But that is a two under on the front. Followed by a six over. We were three over through the first four holes of just the back nine. Then we birdied 14 and 16. Then finished with a bogey quad. And how many dedication? Was that two pars and a bogey? So five points dedicated. Well, map, I will be back for revenge on this golf course. So be ready for that. Just like I got revenge at Wedgwood Drive Park. I don't even remember the name of that golf course. That might be the name. Might be something completely different. But thank you for designing this amazing golf course. And thank you to all of you all for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. If you want even more content from me, just check the channel page. Tons of content for a lot of different games. So check it out. We have multiple career mode series for Ryan Gamer, the virtual athlete you saw play this round of golf. He plays five different sports right now. Just played plenty others in the past. And I have even more on my second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description for that. But I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.